Good morning, folks. In this video, we're going to be starting lesson E, which is reduced rho echelon form, also abbreviated RREF. Now, this is similar to what we have done with rho echelon form, except for one key difference. Notice that reduced rho echelon form still has the slant of ones and the zeros below, but in addition to the zeros below, it also has zeros above. And having those zeros above means that instead of having a one variable, two variable, and three variable set of equations, we have a one variable equation in each row. So if these are my columns, this would be my X column, my Y column, my Z column, and the constant column, this first one would say Z equals P. The next one would say y equals n. So there's no x and there's no z in that equation. This top one would say x equals m. So if you're like, wow, that's pretty slick because I didn't have to do any of this nasty like equation solving to get to my solutions. It just straight up is my constant column. Yes, it is nice, but the problem is getting reduced row echelon form by hand is kind of a mess. So we're not going to be getting this format, <clears throat> excuse me, by hand. Instead, we are going to be getting it using our calculator. Now, what I want you to write about reduced row echelon form is that this is strictly for checking three variable systems. So I'm still going to make you show all of our row echelon form work by hand, but you can use it as a means of checking. So for example, on these previous pages, you could use reduced row echelon form on your calculator to check your final answer, but I'm still gonna need to see all your row steps, all your row operations, and your row echelon form matrix. So um, just something to be aware of, this is strictly for checking three variable systems, but we do use it for straight up solving four variable systems. So checking only for three variable systems, solving four variable systems. Because yeah, solving a four variable system by hand gets pretty nasty. So the first thing that I want you to notice about this system, besides the fact that gross, there's a fourth variable there, is on my math lab, and in our textbook that actually goes along with my math lab, they write coordinates with a fourth variable as X, Y, Z, W coordinates. So this is important because, you know, you would expect it to go alphabetically, but because we're adding that fourth dimension onto the end after Z, the W actually goes after the Z. So be careful about this as far as how you are writing the order of your solution. So the first thing we are going to do with this problem is actually the same as what we did when we did these problems by hand, which is we need to turn this into an augmented matrix. And on your homework, I am going to require, even on these four variable calculator ones, that you show that augmented matrix work. Let's make sure you show that augmented matrix work. So, when we go to turn this into an augmented matrix, normally we would try to get a one in that top left position, but since our calculator is gonna do the heavy lifting on this one, we're gonna go ahead and just write the equations in as is. So what will the dimensions of this matrix be? We have four equations, so there's gonna be four rows, and there's one, two, three, four variables and a constant, so there will be five columns. So starting with my X stuff, and again, be careful if you need any placeholders of zero for any missing constants. My Z's, one, negative six, negative one, three. My W's, two, three, one, five. And then if you want to do the dashed line and then your constants, you can do so. 
Now folks, we just had to do a lot of writing there. So what I tend to do to check myself because I have definitely missed numbers or missed negatives before is since I went through and did the matrix by columns, I'm gonna go through and check it by rows, so the opposite way, and make sure I haven't missed anything and that all my numbers and signs are correct. So if you uh, write it down one way, check it using the other way. So I went by rows, so now I'm checking, or I went by columns, so now I am checking the rows. And everything looks good. So folks, this would be our augmented matrix work, which is what I will want to see on the written homework. Next, we have to figure out how to put this matrix into our calculator. So folks, these are the calculator steps for reduced row echelon form or RREF. First, second, X to the negative one, and that is going to take you to the matrix area of your calculator. So for those of you who have taken stats, kind of like going to the stat plot area of your calculator where you can type in data. You are going to go to edit and then state your dimensions and then start buttoning in your elements. This is the most important step and you'll see why it's easy to forget this step and why it feels kind of counterintuitive. After you have typed in your matrix, you are going to hit second mode to go to the home screen. So I'm gonna put a little star by this step. Second mode to go to the home screen. And then second, X to the negative one again to go back to the matrix part of your calculator and then you will select option B, which is reduced row echelon form. And I think it's actually in lowercase letters on your calculator, not that that really matters, but um, that's how it will look on your calculator screen. Lastly, second, X to the negative one, again, and then you select the matrix. So as you can see from these steps, it looks like we're doing second X to the negative one a whole bunch. And I'm about to show you on the calculator how you go about doing that. So I'm gonna clear out my home screen. We start by clicking second and X to the negative one is right here. Now, this takes me to the matrix, you can see the word matrix there, the matrix part of our calculator. Up at the top, we've got names, math, and edit. These are kind of like tabs in Google Chrome, so you can arrow over and select different tabs. The tab that we wanna go to is the edit tab. So I arrow over to the right and select matrix A with enter. Now, we just did a calculator reset not too long ago, so it should just be a simple one by one matrix in there. So the first thing we need to do is type in the dimensions of our matrix. This is a four by five matrix. So four for the rows, five for the columns, hit enter, and you'll see that my calculator structures the matrix. Now we go through and we enter in the elements. So we state the dimensions, then we do the elements. So negative one, and I believe it goes by rows, five, one, two, I'm going to do this fairly fast to make this video a little bit shorter, but when you are doing this, make sure you take your time because sometimes your calculator will miss a negative. All right, and actually I typed them in by rows, so now I'm gonna go and check my columns to make sure it all looks good as far as negative signs and numbers. Perfect, all right, so now I've got my elements in my matrix. So this is where we do that start step. After we have put our matrix in, to actually calculate with our matrix, we need to go back to our home screen. So second mode to quit. And that takes us back to like our normal calculation screen where we can do things like two fifths plus six. So I'm actually on my calculator home screen. And once we are there, then we're going to go back to the matrix. So you're going to hit second, 
x to the negative 1 and arrow over, <coughs> excuse me, to math and select down at the bottom option B, reduced row echelon form. So actually, folks, that is a mistake there, not matrix. I should say math. So we want to go to the math tab, sorry about that, and select option B down near the very bottom, that RREF. Now, if you're getting excited going, oh, there's row echelon form, your calculator sometimes doesn't do the best row operation stuff. So if you use it to check your actual row echelon form matrix, like for this problem or this problem, you actually almost... I don't know, 80 to 90% of the time will get a different matrix. So I don't recommend using REF to check your matrix work here. I do recommend that you use your RREF to check your coordinate answer to see if you have done that correctly. All right, folks. So after we select, <laughs> after we select reduce row echelon form and press enter, we are on our home screen, but now we need to select the matrix. So we go second x to the negative one, select matrix A, enter, close off our parentheses, and press enter. And this shows me the reduced row echelon form, which I am going to copy down on my paper next to my augmented matrix. So our reduced row echelon form one with zeros below it, zero, one with zeros below it, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one. And then negative 12, negative four, one, and two. All right, folks. So this is the reduced row echelon form that your calculator shows. So I want you to show your augmented matrix on your paper, what your calculator has shown as the reduced row echelon form, and now we can use this to write our solutions. So going back to what we have done previously, each column represents a variable, and remember W comes after Z, so strange I know, and now we can turn each of these rows into a solution. So this says W equals two. This one says Z equals one. This one says Y equals negative four. And this one says X equals negative 12. So as a coordinate, our final solution would be negative 12, negative four, one, and two. And if we wanted to be doubly sure that we have typed everything in on our calculator, you could take that point and plug it into all four of those equations to verify that it works. So folks, um, before we go on to the next problem, I just wanna go back and show you how we could use reduced row echelon form to check ourselves here. So let's say, that on this example where I got the fractions, I'm a little nervous because it's like, oh, I didn't like that those are fractions. I sure hope this question is correct. What we would do is go to second x to the negative one, and I always just edit matrix A, so I always just play around with that first matrix. So arrow over to select edit. Now the dimensions of this matrix is a three by four. So three rows four columns. And your calculator still lay, leaves some of that data in there from the previous problem. So now I'm going to go through and overwrite it. So negative four, negative five, negative 10, two, one, zero, negative four, zero, three, two, eight. Now I go to second mode to quit and go to my home screen. And notice if I just arrow up, I can select reduce row echelon form again to give me that answer, but the steps that you would need to go through if you didn't have that stored in your calculator are second x to the negative one, arrow over to the math tab, and I think arrow up is faster to get to reduce row echelon form. Select that, 
Then you have to hit second, x to the negative one to go back to the matrix, select matrix A, and that gives you the same thing. Now this shows me that z equals one, y equals two, and x equals negative three. Now what happens if I select just row echelon form for matrix A? Ooh, yikes. If I do math enter enter on that, notice that we do get a match in the first or in the last two rows, but that top row is different. So this is why folks, reduced row echelon form is how you wanna check your coordinate solution, but you won't always have a match with row echelon form to your row echelon form matrix. So I don't really know why there's a difference here. You know, how did they get the one half? How did they get the negative two? It's not that this is wrong, and it definitely doesn't show that your matrix is wrong. So for checking your work on your row echelon form matrix, um, if you're struggling on the homework, you can always take a picture of it and send it to me so I can look at all of your row op steps. Typically, it's going to be something little like, I missed a negative here, or I forgot to multiply something up here, or I multiplied the wrong thing. But um, don't be discouraged if this does not match this. The important thing is that the reduced row echelon form answer, negative three, two, one, matched what our calculator showed. So that's why folks use reduced row echelon form to check your three variable system answers. Still have to show all that lovely row op stuff, but you can use it to solely do the four variable systems. But I will wanna see your augmented matrix work. I will wanna see what that reduced row echelon form matrix looks like, and then your final coordinate answer. And that concludes our first calculator example.